Sometimes our curls get to the point where they lack luster and the color can get dull. This can happen due to buildup, dryness, or just a faded color. So I thought I would put together a video on all the ways I like to revive my dull hair. This video is done in collaboration with Madison Reed, who was so kind to sponsor this video and also send me one of their home hair color kits to try out on my hair. So stay tuned as I share some of the ways I like to bring back the luster and shine back into my curls. Let's dive right into the first way we can make our hair look rich and shiny again, and that is to color your hair. I hadn't colored my hair in years. I'm talking about four years or so. Um, I did have highlights and hair color before, but it had grown out and I had trimmed it out. Um, so I was basically working on virgin hair when I colored it. If you already color your hair, you understand how important it is to maintain that rich color. And that's why I'm so excited about Madison Reed. It's because I am pretty much a stay-at-home mom now, so I need to maintain my hair color, but I don't always have time to go to the salon to get it done. I really have to figure out ways to make this work at home. I like that you can go on their website and fill out a quick questionnaire and then they help you pick a perfect color for your hair. Their home hair color kits include customized instructions, barrier cream to keep your ears, forehead, and neck color free, a cleansing wipe to clean up any of those mistakes, their radiant cream color which contains argon oil, keratin, and ginseng root to strengthen and protect the hair while delivering radiant multi-dimensional color. This is also a formula that is free from ammonia, resorcinol, PPD, parabens, and gluten. It also contains a conditioning color activator, a protective cap. I love that it has two pairs of gloves, one for applying the color and another one to help you rinse it out. And their color enhancing shampoo and conditioner which is free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten. The application process is pretty simple and requires you to start on dry, unwashed hair. I just parted my hair in four sections then added the barrier cream and use the bottle application method to apply. After I'm done applying, I put on the shower cap and leave it on for 35 minutes. Then I rinse well, shampoo and condition, and style my hair. You can see a major improvement on how rich my hair color is. Yeah, I'm really, really digging it. Um, I feel like my hair just looks healthier, it's springier, um, there's a lot more shine to it. I feel like a new woman. I like it. Another reason your hair might be looking dull is because of product buildup. As someone with curly hair, I understand how important it is not to wash your hair every single day. That would be so extremely drying, so I only wash my hair twice per week, but I'm always refreshing it throughout the week with more products and water, so that does cause a lot of buildup. So one way I can remove the excess buildup is by doing an apple cider vinegar rinse. To make it, you just mix about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and about a half or three quarter cup of water. You can add that to a spray bottle and spray it all over your hair and scalp and massage it in. I put on a shower cap and leave it on for about five minutes, then rinse really, really well. Then I like to do a co-wash because the apple cider vinegar rinse is pretty clarifying in itself. And because my hair is on the finer side, this is something I only do about one or two times per month, but the results will leave my hair so shiny. If your hair is just lacking moisture, which is causing it to look dry and dull, then you might just need to use a deep conditioner. In my opinion, there's not really a wrong or right way to do a deep conditioner, but you can do it a number of ways. You can do it the traditional way, which I believe is after your conditioner, apply your deep conditioner, put on a shower cap, um, leave it on for whatever the, whatever the container says, 10 to 30 minutes, and then rinse it out well. You can also do the condition wash condition method, which is something I've done a video on. If you'd like to see that, just check the description box. I will link that down below. Um, but the condition wash condition method you actually put the deep conditioner on first, or you can put it on last, whatever you'd like, but you do put conditioner on first, and then you wash, and then you condition again. It's a great technique if your hair is super tangled that really helps soften up the hair and loosen up those tangles. I think what's most important is the consistency of your deep conditioner, so make sure you're doing it one to two times per week, just depending on the health of your hair. If your hair is pretty healthy, then one time per week should be fine. If you have severely damaged hair, then you could bump it up to two times per week. And if you'd like to see a video on my favorite deep conditioners for fine curly hair, 
check below down in the description box. I have one for drugstore deep conditioners and also for high-end deep conditioners. The last way I like to revive dull hair is by incorporating oils into my curly hair routine. Now with fine curly hair, you have to be extra careful about your application and also how much you're putting in. It's so easy for our hair to get weighed down and look really oily really quick. So knowing which oils to use is half the battle. If you're using it as a finishing touch, then I suggest very lightweight oils like argon and grapeseed oil. I like to actually apply the argon oil into my hands, just a couple drops, really work it in and either scrunch it into my ends or just kind of smooth it in, usually from the mid shaft area down to my ends. During the winter months, I do like to do the lock method. So um, after applying my leave-in, I have to move into my oils. And so I either use just a couple drops or I'll find an oil that is in a spray form. So I'll add my leave-in, I'll spray my hand, work it in and either smooth it in like mid shaft down or just scrunch it into my ends. I don't go really heavy with the oils on the lock method because you can easily overdo it. Another way I like to incorporate oils is with a hot oil treatment. This is another treatment that you have to use with caution on finer textures. So traditionally you're doing, I think, a hot oil treatment after you shampoo and before conditioner. For finer textures, I have my own way to do it and it's before you wash. This really ensures that I keep the shine from the hot oil treatment without it being weighed down. And that completes my video on the four ways I revive dull curly hair. I'd love to get your feedback. What are some of the ways you like to bring the shine and rich color back into your hair? Let me know down below and also let me know what do you think of my hair color? I love it. I needed a little self care and this did the job. If you want to see more hair color videos on how to care for it, please let me know. Now is the time. I've just colored my hair and I haven't done this in a long time, so there should be more videos to come, but just give me some suggestions on what you want to see. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.